On the set of axes provided, sketch the graph of f of x equals 2 times e to the power of x minus 2. Clearly label any axial intercepts with their coordinates and asymptotes with their equations. So the first thing we're going to do is talk about the transformations that have happened to e to the power of x to give the function f of x. And the first thing we're going to look at is the 2 that multiplies e to the power of x. And that's responsible for a dilation by a factor of 2 from the x axes. Next we look at the negative 2 and in that position it corresponds to a translation of 2 units in the negative f direction which is our traditional y axis. So this translation of 2 units in the negative f direction means that we have an asymptote now occurring down here and that equation will be f equals negative 2. Next we can look at finding the x and y intercepts of this graph. So we know that the y-intercept is going to occur when x equals 0 in our rule. Therefore, our rule becomes f of 0 is equal to 2 times e to the power of 0 minus 2. However, anything to the power of 0 is just 1, so that's going to become 1 there. Therefore, f of 0 is equal to 2 times 1, which is 2, minus 2 equals 0. So because that coordinate comes out to be 0, 0, it means that it is also the x-intercept. So taking into account the two transformations that have occurred, our graph is going to look something like this, where this x and y-intercept occurred at 0, 0. So because there's not two axial intercepts for this graph, it's good practice to put another point on. So we're going to consider the case where x equals 1. So if x equals 1, we're going to evaluate f of 1, which is equal to 2 times e to the power of 1 minus 2. Therefore, f of 1 is simply equal to 2e minus 2. So that corresponds to this point on the graph, which is at 1 comma 2e minus 2. So that is the graph of f of x.